provide some tips about managing family dynamics in your business. Probably the best way is you establish goals um, for the family, for the business, and you um, also follow uh, policies and procedures for those goals in order to meet those goals, um, and then check in on them all the time. I guess always listen to all sides. There's always two sides to every story, so we, we try to adhere to that and, and listen to, to all parties involved. Our parents always tried to instill that in us, even when we were growing up as kids. When managing a family business, I think it's really important that you're mindful to listen as much as you speak, to give everybody in the family and around the family an opportunity to share their thoughts and to listen, listen patiently. Um, I think it's important to celebrate differences and to welcome opinions that are not always consistent with your own and work together toward a common goal. Describe the legacy you hope to establish as a family business. Yeah, with being fourth generation um, Healy in our construction business, uh, definitely want to carry the legacy that they started, which is quality and craftsmanship, and also um, building a better future for Delaware and building a better future for America. Well, we'd certainly like to see it carry on and uh, just continue to be a, a local leader in our, in our segment that we're in. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, this was started by my great-grandfather in the 30s in the middle of the Depression. So it's, it's always been a big sense of pride to, to carry this tradition on. So our family, we, we've been in business for 25 years and we have learned from our father and our uncle the values of compassionate um, way of doing business. And that starts with uh, treating our associates right and also being as integrity, having as much integrity as possible with how we do our business with our customers. Describe your family motto that guides you in life and business. Family motto and our business motto is treat everybody like you'd like to be treated. And um, I think we do a pretty good job of doing that both in our family and in the business. And uh, we treat all of our employees just like their family as well. I would think it'd be just to employ common sense whenever you see appropriate. I, our, our father had a, a college professor that always used a phrase, let common sense prevail. And that's something our, our dad always continues to instill in us these days, so we, that's something we follow. What keeps you up at night and why? Uh, actually, it's just the nature of our business is so hazardous because uh, we build high rises and um, uh, you know, our, our um, you know, keeping me up at night really is just our employees making sure they come home every night um, safe and sound and uninjured. Probably just trying to remain relevant. I mean, consumers have so many different choices as it relates to you know energy needs, doing what we do. But just just trying to continue to be a, a relevant choice to the consumer. What are some community initiatives you are proud of? I'm proud of us uh, launching the Kenny Family Foundation when we were able to uh, take the reins of a, of a nonprofit uh, and, and bring that to life and hire an executive director uh, and give uh, literally every week we're, we're, we're giving into the community uh, of Delaware uh, over a thousand organizations, uh, local Delaware, small. Uh, organizations that otherwise in many instances would not have been supported uh, were there for them. 